Let's turn to the online angle. Every year the trend continues to grow, and with more and more people shopping on the web, with Cyber Monday just around the corner, are online retailers going to have a happy shopping season? Let's ask Neil Grover, CEO of Buy.com. He joins us now from Irvine, California. Welcome to the show. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks so for having I'll, me. I'll set it up like this. The first question, you know, we keep hearing people won't cutting up their credit cards, not wanting to spend. Is that actually perhaps even going to trickle down so that people are going to be shopping at their local store, brick and mortar store more this year than usual because they don't want to use credit cards? I, I don't think so. We're actually mm -hmm. still seeing uh, credit cards being used at, uh, at the highest quantities for sure. Um, we've actually added uh, alternative options as well. So you can, you can actually use cash online as well now. You can go into your local store through one of our partners, eBill Me. They've got 75,000 locations where you can, can actually pay with cash. I just scan a $100 bill into the machine? <laughs> well, in essence. No, Hey, Neil, real quick, uh, we've been talking a lot about Walmart going after Amazon, Walmart trying to, you know, bring down prices or compete with the Amazons and probably the buy.coms of the world. Do you see that as a, as a major problem for your, your business? Well, I mean, it's definitely um, competitive out there, and we compete with Amazon and Walmart and Best Buy and others, and Walmart and Amazon definitely have a little price war going on, but so do we, and we're always within that, uh, within that little war as well. Uh, recently, Business Week came out with an article and compared Walmart, Amazon, eBay, and us, and we came out with the lowest prices. So I think they're focusing on one or two products. We try to focus on five million products every day, uh, but I think they're helping bring more attention to the online business. You know, it's interesting, to Cody's point, that people aren't going to be charging. At the same time, the beauty of the web is that I can shop for the discount and I can find where that product is the cheapest. Odds are good I can get free shipping, and if you pay for shipping anybody this holiday season, shame on you, because everyone's giving it away for free. So you can argue, then, that the online world this year could actually benefit from everyone being so cost-conscious. Yeah, we've seen that so far. We saw it last year, Black Friday and Cyber Monday were both up over 40%, and this year so far, things have been uh, starting off to a great start so far. You know, uh, your model is obviously different than a typical retailer, but we're just at, talking about discounting. Can you talk to us what type of pricing, what, what type of pricing pressure do you have this year versus last year? Do you have any stability in pricing, or are you seeing actual big discounts throughout it? I, I actually think there's more discounts still. I, I heard what the prior analyst was saying, but um, we've got discounts up to 70% off today, and, and it'll continue through the holiday season for sure. Neil, so uh, one of the big things, and I'm going to go back to this Walmart, Amazon price war going on right now. The Xbox 360, they, they put a price up, 199 bucks plus the $100 gift uh, card back. Amazon, Walmart did that. Amazon came and said, we'll do that too. Can you do something like that? Are you just going to let them beat, them beat each other senseless and try and pick up the other stuff? You know, there, there are a couple products that we'll let them beat each other up on. We'll make sure that we have the lowest prices on all the games surrounding the hardware platforms. <laughs> um, you know, we definitely want to continue to make money. We've been profitable now for three years, but we try really hard to bring the lowest price to the consumer every single day on, on all five million products. Money's on the blades, not the razors. Are you squeezing your, pro your profit margins to death, though? They're, they're definitely been, uh, they've definitely been squeezed this holiday. All right, so bottom line, this year versus last year, your sales are going to be up double digits. Can you give us some, uh, some idea of the magnitude? Uh, I don't know the magnitude yet, but I do expect them to be up year over year. Um, and so far, you know, customers have been really happy with the offers that we've had and the promotions we have. We have a lot of free shipping. We've got you know, the vast majority of products do ship for free. We have over 5 million products. We, um, we've increased the offers we have. We actually have a price comparison on our site. So if for some reason we don't have the lowest price, we'll actually take you to the retailer that does have the lowest price, really trying to engender loyalty throughout the season. Hey, thank you so much, Neil Grover. Thanks for having me.